we're here now with sophomore Kelsey Weisman and Kelsey the 2009 ACC freshman of the year had an unfortunate break when you broke your arm in the ACC championship game and had to miss the regional play and first of all Kelsey how's the uh, rehab coming and are you completely healed now? Uh, yes I am I finished rehab at the end of the fall and now I've got to start practice with the team this spring and it's been hard to get back into it but I'm working hard and trying to help the team out. What were you doing from the side as, you know, having that's obviously a position that no athlete wants to be in to have the year like you did as a freshman and then to have an unfortunate, untimely injury like that. But, you know, what does that say about your team that so many different people like Jenny moving to shortstop and Christy Jones coming into playing second base were able to step up and really the team never missed a beat? Um, I think it shows that we have a lot of good athletes on the team. Like when you're out left fielder can come in and play second base, you know you have some pretty athletic people. And I got to watch from the dugout and cheer the team on, and it was great to just be a part of that experience and watch everybody play so well, Just like even though they had to wait around a lot with rain and everything, and just stay on top. It was just great to be a part of that. What could you take from that as a positive, a learning experience? I know you were on the side of the dugout with the coaches to see that side of the game, and I know you were in there helping a lot with you know, Coach Morales and McCray last year with the positioning of the defensive players and studying the batters and their tendencies and, you know, just what were you able to provide from the dugout in that experience? Um, I got to see, like, from the dugout, you can see the whole field. You're not just, like, focused in on the batter and you get to see where, like, you get you pay more attention to the coach and see kind of what they're saying to the batter and where they're lining up is instead of just being focused on the pitch and trying to read the ball, you get to see so you, I can better prepare in different situations. Give us a quick rundown of what your rehab was like. I know you weren't able to play over the summer. Fall ball, you were in a limited role, played some defense, but weren't able to hit yet. But just how's the recovery been, and how glad are you to be back on the field now at 100%? Um, the recovery was good. It was a little bit slower than I would have liked. I didn't get to play at all this summer. And then in the fall, I was limited. I only got to do defense for the majority of our fall season. And I just got to work with our new trainer and just strengthening and making sure that it wasn't my own, wasn't going to break again. Well, everything looks great now. And you guys have been out there for about a week now with practice, going to be starting the season here and actually four weeks from today. And looking ahead, you've got three seniors you're going to be replacing, but another formidable lineup. And... You know, what are the goals for the team this year, and especially you personally, what are you looking to achieve now to build on your freshman of the year campaign? Um, well, our team goal, obviously, is to make it back to a Super Regional, at least. We would really like a World Series appearance. It would be just a great for our team and our program. And uh, for me personally, it would just be to continue to build on the success that I had last year. Maybe try to be more of a leader in the infield since I've played shortstop and they're kind of supposed to be the vocal leader. Just try to help the team out any way I can. Well, what did you do last year? I know a lot was talked about uh, Coach Eileen Morales working with you in your defense, but you know when you look at the stats, only three errors after the first six weeks of the season. And what does that say about the heart, the work ethic that you have, and you know your work and persistence to keep getting better defensively? Um, well, I just kept working with uh, Coach Eileen Morales, um, just going over plays, making sure I was comfortable, and getting to where I didn't have to worry about whether I was doing certain things right. I just got to go out and play, which helped me relax a lot, and then I didn't make as many mistakes. How nice was that to have someone who went through what you did as a you know shortstop, switching positions, and you know having her there last year as a student assistant, and now as a full-time assistant coach to really help with you? and. You know, I, I know you mentioned last year all the countless hours you guys worked after practice just in, you know, individual taking ground balls and just working on your footwork. Um, it was great. I think I learned a lot quicker than I would have if I had been just had to learn during practice because she just she played the position for four years before me. So she had a lot of input and was able to help a lot. And I learned much quicker than I would have in the alternative situation with not having anybody there like just to help me out. 
Now you guys do lose a lot with the three starting seniors and you know Tiffany Johnson pitching third base and power hitter right in the middle of the lineup and Blair Shamandel who always seemed to be diving making great catches and was always on base every time you looked up someone you drove in quite a bit last year and of course Whitney Haller the all-time RBI and home run leader and not only Georgia Tech and the ACC but you know between yourself and Jen Yee of course returning and a couple of these freshmen who are looking to really make an impact stepping up do you think you guys are going to miss anything offensively this year or just kind of whoever steps in there is going to step up and pick right up where you guys left off well, it's going to be hard to replace them. They were great, and it was nice to know that you could, like they were there, you could depend on them to come through in the situations. But we have a really strong freshman class, and I think they'll be able to step up and help out as well as all our returners. Like Jenny, she's going to be great, and hopefully I'll be able to get back in the swing of things also. Well, thanks, Kelsey, and good luck this season. Thank you.